All right, so mowing grass, what you need to know about the grass, getting it cut, getting it ready to harvest. Like I said, there's different ways. There's different machines. You can use tractors. There's mowers for tractors. We'll go have a look at all the different options there is. You've got these littler mowers. You've got the pull-behinds like this. This here is an offset. These two here, generally you put this one and this one together. So this would go on the front. These go on the back. This is a new addition. Oh, I don't know. I guess I guess that's a full cut of 7.3 meters. This one, these are the same. This goes on the front. This goes on the back. Vice versa. This is the one I have on the tractor. It's new and it's biggest. So... Bigger's better, I guess, when it comes to mowers. And then you've also got the, uh, we got this one. Well, you you have this little feller here if you want to, I guess, mow your grass. I'm not sure. Or you really want to start low, small scale. There you go. And then we have this one. We'll demonstrate this one as well. We'll get to it. We'll go ahead and make a pass with this thing here, get the grass cut, and then we'll we'll run that one over there a little bit. You can see how all this stuff works out. And just turn your front one on, turn your back one on. There we go. Just drive away. Nothing to it. And then this is after you've cut or, like I said, you, you've figured out what you're wanting to do. I mean, are you just going to, are you going to windrow it and pick it up in a wagon? Are you going to try to bail it? That's something you'll just have to decide what you want to do. I'll, I'll wind up showing them all in videos what, I, what to do with all of it, but as far as, there's different different steps you'll have to take depending on what you're wanting to do. I mean, if you're like I said, if you're gonna bail, then you gotta do a different route. If you're gonna do, you're just gonna do grass bales, and then that's that's different. Or if you're just gonna pick it up and use it for feed. All right, we'll take this thing, get it out of the way, and we'll go over here and we'll use this other one. Test it out, demonstrate it for you. This one here, uh, it does have a hitch, and if I remember right, I, I don't know. I haven't tried it in this one, but used to in nineteen, you could you could pull the tether behind it too, so that was actually pretty nice. That way, you could do it all at once. This thing's not too bad though. That actually, that rig I was just using is bigger, I guess, but. I don't think it's as fast. This is more convenient, but obviously this is a lot more money. That thing over there, if you're getting started, depending on how you play. I mean, if you use a money mod, it really doesn't matter. But if you try to play without using a money mod, it's pretty tough to get this thing because it's expensive. And maybe you don't, maybe you don't want to have a, just a mower, a machine around just just mows. Maybe you want to use your tractors. I don't know. I. I kind of prefer using the tractor pulling the mowers myself. I I don't I can't really tell you why, but uh, it's just preference, I guess. But yeah, this is all there is to it with the mowing. You just you can I think with this one you can change and you can throw it in a row if you're gonna do a pickup wagon. So you can I believe row it with this. But we're just going to go ahead and lay it all out like this. And that way uh, we can demonstrate in other videos how to do the hay and the tedding and picking it up and running a windrower and all that stuff. So somebody that's curious or not sure how it works, they'll have a good understanding of how it all works. And that's going to do it for mowing hay. Thank you.